Hi all, today we're going to be doing a problem from the Patna math competition. It's question number B2 from the year 1998. Now generally I don't upload any geometry or even cardinal geometry problems because they tend to get messy. But this one has an extremely elegant solution as you're going to see. Anyway, the question states, given a point A, B with 0 less than B less than A, determine the minimum parameter of a triangle with one vertex at A, B one on the x-axis and one on the line y equals x. You may assume that a triangle of minimum parameter exists. Anyway, so basically you're standing at this point a, b and then let's suppose the x-axis is a river and the line y equals x is some road and you basically have to go to the river then go to the line y equals x which is the road so you go to the river, to the road, and then back to your original point. And you have to find the, the smallest distance that you're going to have to travel. Anyway, so let's, let's reflect the point AB across the line, y equals x. So you get the point BA. Now, obviously, if you go from BA to a certain point on this line, y equals x, and you go from AB to a same point on this line, then these two distances these two distances are going to be the same because the line y equals x has basically reflected the point. Now, let's reflect AB across the x-axis as well. So here you are, that's A minus B. And again, if you travel from A minus B to any point on the river and then you travel from A to B on any point of the river, then those two distances are the same because we reflected this point about the x-axis. Now, what, what exactly do you have to do? Remember, you have to go from AB to the river, then from the river to the road, and then from the road back to your original point. Now, because we can go from A minus B to the river, and it'll be the same distance as if we go from AB to the river, let's do that. So we've hit the river here, and now we have to go to the road. So we go to the road like this. And now finally, we have to go back to our original position. But because the, the line y equals x is uh, basically reflecting the original point, th then we can just go to BA instead. And these two distances will be the same. So anyway, now notice that the shortest distance between any two lines is always 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 going to be a straight line and so let's draw a straight line here what is the length of this line well the length of this line i can find by using the distance formula by using the distance formula we just get b minus a whole squared plus a plus b whole squared and this comes out to be under root a squared plus b squared and the reason we can actually get this shortest distance is because this point b a is on the other side of the line y equals x as compared to the point a minus b so obviously when we when we draw a line connecting these two points together at some point it's going to cross the line y equals x and now the same argument can be applied for the x-axis because b a is on the opposite side of the x-axis compared to a minus b when we join these two points together again it has to cut the x-axis and so no matter what a and b are no matter what their actual values are as long as they follow this inequality we will always be able to choose other points on the on the road and the river such that we get the shortest possible distance and therefore the solution is complete have a nice day